There's a threat to your smile that can attack while you sleep. Well, more accurately, you can be a threat to your smile while you sleep, as Jerry Bender learned the hard way. Jerry's here with dentist Steve Marsh to warn you of this danger while you doze and to show you how to bring our teeth back to tip-top shape. Thanks, Jerry. Steve, for joining us today. Thanks, Appreciate thank you. That. Yeah. All right, so Jerry, let's start with you. What could you do to your teeth while you sleep? Well, I'm, I I uh, was grinding my teeth, and I didn't even know I was doing it. I had ground my upper and my lower teeth down to about half the original size. Wow. Um, how yeah. did you discover it? Um, well, actually, uh, uh, Steve had recommended that I wear a night guard, and after several nights of use of the night guard, I could see the damage I was doing to the night guard. Wow. Uh, you know, I have to say, I was doing some uh, real damage to my teeth and my smile. <laughs> wow, that's that's pretty yeah. scary, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, uh, uh, tell us, is this a common occurrence? Well, it's common, and, and you know, sometimes you're, you're the person you're sleeping with tells you about it because they can hear the noise. That's mm -hmm. one of the things. Uh, Jerry's was pretty easy to diagnose because, as he had said, he wore his teeth down to almost half their size. Another problem we see that Jerry didn't have is sleep apnea. So a lot of people who are sort of swarthy um, can't breathe very well at night, and sleep apnea is a huge problem that we're recognizing in, in America today. And uh, though Jerry didn't have it, those are all things that contribute to grinding down a teeth, as well as stress at work and stress yeah. in your job. So some people do it during the day as well. All right, so Steve, uh, Jerry's teeth, what did you do? Well, we have some pictures to show exactly what we did with Jerry, and we, we first uh, decided we'd look at a plan um, and Jerry's was pretty easy to diagnose as he showed there's his upper teeth though it's hard to tell here he probably lost three to four millimeters on his lower teeth arm and if you look closely you can see he's actually ground down the teeth wow. to the next layer mm -hmm. and you see the enamel on the outside mm -hmm. you see the next layer of dentin it's almost like taking an old creamsicle wow. and cutting it in half <laughs> and you can see where the cream is on the inside so Jerry, after we sat down and we looked at a different plan, we said, well, what can we do? And today we have wonderful porcelains we've talked about before. No metal, because we talked about mm -hmm. not using metal with Jerry. And so in the front arm, we were able to do porcelain veneers. Um, and in the lower front, we also did porcelain veneers. But as you had mentioned earlier, not only did the front grind down, but the backs as well. They took a lot of the pressure. So in the back, we used all porcelain crowns, and we brought his bite back to where he was probably mm -hmm. 10, 20, 30 years ago, and it was a huge difference for Jerry. Now, you brought a, a mold, what's that for? Well, one of the things, Jerry mentioned a mouth guard, and there's some sophisticated and, and unsophisticated right. ones, and this is one of the mouth guards we made like Jerry. It's very easy to do. You make a model first, and you can wear this at night and or during the day. does that stop the grinding, or? Well, it doesn't stop it, it teeth? really protects the teeth. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, Jerry, what do you think of the, what was done? It was great, and after the restoration, uh, you know, I might find myself in a meeting or at a party, and, you know, occasionally people would walk up to me and tell me how nice my teeth looked. That That's never happened to nice. me before. That is very <laughs> nice. But then there was another problem that arose. Uh, Armin, unfortunately, there was. Um, I was uh, helping my daughter hang some uh, large photographs, and one of those photographs fell off the wall and hit me in the teeth of cracking my front tooth. Yeah, I think we have a picture of what happened and what you did there, Steve. Well, what we were able to do with Jerry is, uh, this is uh, one of the other things that happened with Jerry is the teeth sort of split. And though we don't oh, have the picture that, huh? of the cracked tooth, Jerry sent me, and that's the reason I brought my phone up, uh, he sent me an email. He said, what do I do? I said, why don't you text me a picture? So he texted me a picture of his broken tooth. Gotcha. I said, Jerry, come on in, and we were able to reestablish that and close the space and uh, bring it back to what it looked like before he was uh, inadvertently hit by that photograph. Jerry, beautiful smile. Oh, thank you very much. If grinding is bringing your grin to a grinding halt, do what Jerry did. Give Steve a call and regain that grin. Steve's number's coming up next. My thanks to Jerry and Steve for joining us today. See what Dr. Stephen Marsh can do for your smile by calling 440-461-1003 or visit www.clevelandsmiles.com. Next, the eyes have it.